so it looks like these types of sounds have evolved repeatedly in many different kinds of birds that produce uh, dynamic courtship displays. Uh, there are a number of species, for example, not just hummingbirds, but nighthawks or uh, guans or uh, flycatchers that have some sort of flight display and produce similar sounds to what we studied in this paper during that flight display. Um, I think what's happening is that these sounds uh, start off as incidental sounds, yeah, just like a person's footsteps on uh, walking down the hall are not intended for communication. I think feathers can flutter and make sounds in much the same way. Uh, and then what happens is that these sounds are produced during these courtship displays, and females uh, prefer them or select for them. We measured the feathers in a wind tunnel over a range of speeds, uh, and one of the things that we find is that as you increase airspeed, the sound gets louder. So, for example, a female might be able to use the sounds that a male is making uh, as an indication of how fast, how hard he's flapping his wings or how fast he's flying. Uh, many species produce these sounds with their wings, and that it can be in a pulse, you know, one, one pulse of sound with each wing beat. So females might also use these sounds as an indication of how fast the male is flapping his wings. In some cases, the sounds that the hummingbirds are making with their tail feathers are louder than their vocalizations. The Anna's hummingbird is a terrific example of that. You can hear a male performing his dives from easily 100 meters away, if not more so. You cannot hear them singing from that far away. So in that one species, I hypothesized that the uh, that females are in fact selecting for a loud sound. But that's not general. In many cases, the sounds that are being by the, made by the feathers are not especially loud. But there is this other interesting pattern that several times within the hummingbirds, there's a match between a vocalization that the males have and a tail sound. For example, the Costas hummingbird sings a song where basically the male sits there and goes with a little gap in the middle. And then when he dives, he makes basically the same sound with his tail. There's no gap in the dive. You can tell the difference, but they sound very similar to each other. What it suggests is that females don't necessarily care how the male is making the sound, uh, that they just they like the form of the sound. And in fact, we think that possibly vocalizations evolve more quickly than, uh, than may these, the, these display behaviors. And so it could be that males are matching or copying the sounds they produce with their feathers vocally.